Hello math typers! In this video, we'll see an introduction to using the web interface of MathType and learn how to create equations in your LMS, in Google Docs, in WordPress, or in any one of the many other places it may be installed. MathType lets you choose between two editing modes. Classic input mode is probably what you expect when using an equation editor. This is what we'll see in this video. Handwritten input mode lets you write the equation in your own handwriting and is the subject of a separate video. How you open a math type will depend on where it's installed, so we won't focus on that. Let's see how to create an equation. There are 10 tabs on the math type toolbar. If you hover the mouse pointer over a tab, a symbol, or a template, a tooltip will appear, letting you know what's beneath the pointer, as well as its shortcut key if one exists. There are so many math symbols, we couldn't include them all on the main toolbar. Notice the expander buttons that provide access to additional symbols. When you type inside MathType, proper formatting and spacing is applied automatically. Notice two things here. One, to get the equal sign, we just typed it from the keyboard. This symbol is on the MathType toolbar. It's on the Symbols tab. And that's true of other common symbols as well, but it's just more convenient to use the keyboard. You may use the symbol on the toolbar if you want. There's no difference between the keyboard one and the toolbar one. Also, notice MathType inserts the proper amount of space between the variable C and the equal sign. It's very rare you'll need to add additional space to what MathType has already added. We'll enter a square root symbol from the toolbar. We're going to type A squared plus B squared. Notice the template for the superscript. It looks like there are two empty slots for us to type into, but we've already typed the base. That's okay, we don't have to delete it and start over. Let's just click the template and see what happens. Great, it's exactly what we wanted. MathType is smart enough to know you probably wanted the superscript applied to the base you'd already typed. Now at this point in the equation, it doesn't make any sense to have a superscript since it would be applied to an operator symbol. So if I select the superscript template, MathType will insert both the base and the superscript slots. We're finished with our equation. To insert it into the document or page we're working on, we click the OK button or Insert button in this case, but some applications have an Accept button or it may be named something else, but click whichever one is appropriate in your situation. In this video, we've learned the basics of the MathType toolbar and how to create a basic equation with MathType. We hope this video has been useful to you. Check out the other videos in this playlist, there's a link at the end, or better yet, subscribe to our channel so you'll always be aware of new content.